In developing news today, the East Rochester Fire Department is investigating a deadly fire from this morning, which left one person inside their home right in the village dead. Alex Love spoke with the chief and joins us now in studio with their investigation. Alex. It was right before 9 a.m., Isabel, when multiple calls came in about a house fire on West Avenue, which is only one block over from the East Rochester Fire Department. But when crews arrived, they faced several challenges. A police officer in the village first arrived on scene and confirmed it was an active fire. Most of the flames appeared to be coming from the backside of the home. Because of the short distance, firefighters were on scene within two minutes. After they were able to make it in, they located one person unconscious who was pronounced dead at the scene. The individual has not been identified, but was determined to be the only person inside the house. However, much of the home was covered in what firefighters called, quote, hoarding conditions, making it difficult to make a quick entry. The homeowner had quite a bit of uh, debris in the house, garbage, uh, items like that, uh, old furniture that blocked doorways from us getting into the structure. You never know what house is going to have those conditions. Uh, we try to make the easiest way into the structure and once we identify that we are in a home that's hoarding conditions, it's, it's notified over the radio that we have hoarding conditions to make everyone aware of it. And then we have to have extra precautions in, uh, to ensure our safety uh, while we're doing our job. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Other volunteer departments who responded included Pittsburgh, Bushnell's Basin, Brighton, Penfield, and Fairport. Isabel? All right, thank you very much, Alex. And we have that information over at rochesterfirst.com. Right now, we have to take a quick break, and we'll be right back.